Hello everyone, I'm Eddie B. Welcome to the channel. If you're into the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But anyways, let's get on with the video. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to strap down a crane mats. That's what they're called. And what these crane mats are is they're put in places where heavy machinery can drive over them and not damage the road underneath. So that's exactly why they're cold like that. And that's what they're used for. And I'm delivering them to a plaza where they're gonna be doing stuff with heavier machinery. But anyway, besides the point, let's talk about how to strap them down. Good news is you can use four or two inch straps, preferably four inch straps. On this load, you can go inside the rail because let's just say it is not wide, wide all the way to the edge of the trailer. It is perfectly fine. And I use four for each stack. Now you could use three, but especially in the front, you wanna use four, because I don't want nothing flying forward. And the fact that this is hanging off a little bit there and I strapped it down there just like that. Uh, each individual piece here weighs a thousand pounds. I got 40 pieces, so it's uh, about 40,000 pounds on this. And let's just say it's an easy load to strap. You just gotta make sure you tuck away your excess. And down here, I don't really have a tie down except two here, but you can't really put two here like that. You gotta kind of spread them around. So basically only one tie down there. The rest, I use the two inch strap in the front, which you can do, but if you have a tie down that can reach all the way here and tie it down, you could use a four inch as well. It doesn't really matter. The broker or the place requires preferably 12 straps so four for each is good i say if you have enough straps go ahead and strap down over that way you the load doesn't shift and you're safe what if something does happen where you have to break i do not uh, slack down on safety basically i always tie down more than what the rate uh, weight is so basically a pretty, I got over 60,000 pounds of force on this 40,000 pound load. And you might be asking why this is outside of the rail, the hook. Well, it's because let's just say I am not ratcheting down this backwards. I don't know if that's what your guys' issue is, why you, I keep getting on TikTok, especially on TikTok comments where it has to be out inside of the rail. Well, you can't really do it inside of the rail. So on this load, it has to be outside of the rail, like just the tie downs. But basically on this side all of it is pretty much on the inside of the rail except here because i cannot fit it from the inside so it has to be on the outside but basically yeah guys um when you want to when you tie strap this down you want to go as tight as possible that's how they want it basically you go as tight as basically they will sing us here yeah they make music that's how tight it is so that's exactly how you want it. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. That is how you strap down crane mats. Not canceled. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2000. Driving a temp in the sex series.